Welcome to the GSFC 2024. I am Dr. Antonin Trimay from Strasbourg and I have the great pleasure to be with Professor Thomas Lucher from London and Zurich. We just attended a very great conference about the main evolution uh, of management of acute coronary syndrome. What is for you the main impactful evolution for acute coronary syndrome during the two or three past decades? Well, in fact, I started with Eisenhower's heart attack in the 50s, so it's 70 years. And in the seven decades, we learned to diagnose uh, acute myocardial infarction with ACJ biomarkers. We learned to reopen the artery, the open artery hypothesis, thanks to Andreas Grunzig in Zurich. And uh, the primary PCI made a huge difference, plus medications that inhibit the um, uh, platelets. But in addition, uh, we are now focusing on avoiding acute coronary syndromes by lowering cholesterol really low uh, by drugs currently, by inhibiting inflammation with specific antibodies, and eventually now with the new revolution in pharmacotherapy to inhibit the uh, transcription of proteins such as PCSK9 into, uh, from, uh, from the transcriptome to the protein and thereby allowing for prolonged inhibition of LDL. And eventually, you know, what we are not doing, we are treating, we're not curing people. We want to cure people, like patients uh, with infections. So with CRISPR-Cas9, the gene editing uh, is the frontier that's knocking on the door of clinical practice. And in patients with hyperlipidemia, severe hyperlipidemia, this is now currently tested. And with this, eventually, we will have one shot in a lifetime to prevent uh, any elevation of LDL, because we all have our hyperlipidemic, we all have much too high in LDL. So this will have a huge impact, as we learn from patients with genetic missense uh, mis mutations. So we went from doing nothing to treating in sup superbly to curing or preventing infarctions in the long term. Thank you very much, Thomas. My pleasure.